So, my name is Eric Castillo Blanco. My position here in the district, I am a paramedic. Uh, I also am uh, fulfilling the position of the acting captain at Station 34 B Ship. I believe it was in the early 2000s. I, uh, I went to Pima to uh, enroll and I noticed that they were doing the EMT training. So I, I, I was intrigued and I actually had a, a good friend of mine that was uh, that went through the EMT program. So I reached out to him and he told me all about it and I was super excited and, and, and I went and signed up for the EMT program. So I worked for an ambulance company here in town for, for a couple of years. And then I started working with Northwest Fire as a transport ambulance. And once I started like interacting with the crews from Northwest uh, back in the day, back in those days, uh, uh, I immediately noticed that it was a really cool place to work, a very nice environment, very welcoming environment. And that's that's where I decided to make the switch to actually pursue the career in the fire service. And after a while as a firefighter, I, I decided to promote to paramedic. Uh, I was sent to well, back to Pima College. Um, I, we had to go through a promotional testing here in the district. So I was successful and I was uh, uh, granted the opportunity to go become a medic. Then I came back to the district and started working at uh, different stations as an engine paramedic and also as a transporting paramedic in one of the ambulances. And now I'm uh, like the acting captain of Station 34 B ship that was uh, given the opportunity to fill that spot which I believe is a really, really important spot in the fire service, especially here in the, uh, in, in the district. So my heritage, uh, growing up in Mexico, Mexico City, um, it's it's a completely different world. Uh, there's a lot of people, a lot of movement, a lot of commotion. So with my heritage being, you know, uh, Spanish speaker, uh, understanding the culture, even though there is a difference between Southern Mexico culture and the Northern culture, there's a lot of similarities, right? The food is a little different and the, the, the lingo and the Spanish is a little different, but it's like 90% there. So being here in Southern Arizona in Tucson, uh, I use my skills all the time. You know, we do have a, a dense population of Hispanic speakers where I was able to help them out, you know, when because when they call 911 or there's an accident or something that happens, there's a lot of uh, frustration, fear and anxiety that goes through their mind. Uh, and, and it's hard for them to communicate. So when I, if I'm lucky enough to respond to one of those calls, uh, I can get to help them, you know, you get a little more calm, uh, have them understand the situation and what is it that we're going to do uh, and explain it to them because sometimes they have the, f the fear of not knowing what's going on or what's going to happen. So so I use that to my advantage to help them uh, uh, understand what's happening and, you know, and, and help them go through a, a difficult situation because my mom speaks Spanish, right? So uh, I would like for someone that is in a different department or, or someone where to uh, help her in a situation like that to do the same thing that I'm doing, right? Uh, uh, the, the heritage is is, uh, is very strong. You know, uh, uh, Mexican families are very, very, they're big and they're very close. And I understand that. And sometimes uh, people or families feel frustrated when they are not included in, in like in the decision-making of uh, medical evaluations or stuff like that. So that's when I can step in and actually uh, bridge that gap of communication and, and reassure our, our residents that that we're here to help them, right and, and and like i said i've been lucky enough to use my skills uh, a lot here in the district uh, when i first started here i was literally welcomed with open arms you know they were they embraced my 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 heritage they embraced me they understood that uh, i was not from here because sometimes culturally that can be a challenging because there were some holidays for example that we don't celebrate in mexico so and they're very important here in, in, in the united states thanksgiving one of the for one, one of the biggest ones right in mexico we don't celebrate thanksgiving so i had to ask like what's what's the big deal about about thanksgiving and instead of making fun of me or looking at me weird they they explained it you know this this is why it's important it's like oh okay and i did the same to them when when they were asking about cinco de mayo which they believe is a party holiday, when in reality, 
close to, it's almost as big as、uh, Independence Day in Mexico. So it's a very honored,、uh, uh, honorable、uh, holiday in Mexico. So, you know, then, then I'm teaching them, like, hey, this is not just a party holiday. This is actually a celebration and it's a, it's a big deal in Mexico.、Uh, and I believe it makes the district better because、uh, we serve our community, right? We serve Pima County, parts of Marana. And we are seeing an influx of, 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 of Hispanic, the Hispanic population. I've seen it, you know,、uh, because I, I feel like I'm talking to more people in Spanish, believe it or not. And I think, I think the district recognizes that and understands that, and they appreciate diversity. And,、uh, and again, I'm lucky enough to be able to serve my community in, in, in that way, that I can be an asset to the district to reach those、uh, pockets of population that.、Um, Definitely benefit from having that, that person that can guide them through what's going on, whether it's a medical emergency or just a, a fire or anything that they may need. You know, it's,、uh, I, I think it's very important and I'm very, I'm very lucky to,、uh, to be part of that. So,、uh, like I said, I'm happy, you know, the guys here at the station. It's funny because we were talking about it. Like, when is it, when will be the time that we have a It, like 100% Hispanic crew in the district. And 10 years ago,、uh, I would have told you, I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's, it's, it's here. It's almost here. I think it's, it's going to happen sooner than later. We will have a, a fully, and if I can help it, I will do it too, a fully functional crew that speaks Spanish, you know, Engine and paramedic. And I think the day that counts, I think it'll be pretty cool because when I started, there was only a handful of us.、Um, but now there's more. And, and I like seeing that. I like seeing that. I like seeing the fact that uh, uh, one of the guys, uh, uh, Alex, he, he plays music, you know, Mexican music. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, you know, where before I was not used to it. Now it's like, super cool that,、uh, that slowly but surely, you know, our. our、uh, Our diversity is growing.